Okay, we got another unboxing for you today. Coming to you from Granny Johnsy's little red chair. She was my grandmother and an incredible lady, and um, I've been blessed to have an incredible family with a rich history and wonderful people, and uh, very lucky. But anyway, and, and that brings me to a couple of items. I'd like to um, give uh, best wishes to a good friend of mine, Fat Daddy. Fat Daddy had a um, knife accident uh, Friday night, I believe it was. Uh, cut his leg open pretty good and uh, had to call the ambulance and spent uh, many hours in the emergency room and got sewed up and I think he's doing better now but I wanted to give him a wish him well and then um, my unboxing today I'll be using this knife here it was made by um, John Emberton sorry it slipped my mind there for a second uh, Mr. Emberton, I have ordered many knives from him through the last 20 years. Uh, well over 20, I would say, for various people. But um, I really love his knives because they're reasonably priced, and he really puts a piece of himself in each of his knives and his sheaths. And I, I really consider them very functional, but also a piece of folk art, really. Um, I mean, on his sheaths, you just... Just a lot of his personality shows through. He just does a lot of decorative things. Every every one he makes is very different. But um, just just whatever he creates comes to his mind. It's what he he does. Like I said, everyone's different, different sizes, different materials. Um, this knife here, and I'll be doing a, I'll be doing a video on his knives. I have several I would like to show. Um, this one I actually bought it off of eBay, but it's a I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, Choya cactus. And he told me how he did these. He he wraps the cactus and then he pours this epoxy in the cactus. I don't know if he puts it in a vacuum or what, but it creates this it fills the voids with this epoxy. I have a couple like this. It's very unique. What I really love about this one, it really fits the hand very well. And uh, another thing he does, he does a lot of interesting techniques on the steel. He will, um, and he, he uses a lot of basic carbon steels. He even does his Damascus steel. Uh, but he'll use acids and various techniques to, to get different textures. Um, a lot of his steels have a grain to them, almost like a... Uh, Damascus but they're not really Damascus so he, he does really a lot of neat stuff I think he's from Missouri and uh, the other thing I want to say was I want to wish him well last I talked with him he was battling cancer for I think at least the second time and I haven't followed up to see how he's doing I hopefully he's doing fine but anyway I will be doing another video on, on his knives I have several but uh, we're going to use that to open this box here and this box is from Clinton Beyer. Uh, you've t heard me talk about him before. He actually made my bracelet here, and he's a great master horn maker. And this knife is one of his first knives he's done. He he he's done a few. It's a very early one. This one this one was done before he even has his stamp. And when he had it on Etsy the other day, Horn and Fiber is his site. I, or he was putting it up. I said, I want that. I want that. I wanted it. I wanted it one of his early pieces because I think he has a lot of skills, and I think his uh, things he do will be gaining in value. I, I appreciate his work, so I was glad to get one of his early knives. So let's get on to unboxing this one. Give me a second off camera here. I've been really looking forward to this. Clinton, I love his stuff, I love his, his wife's weaving, weaving, she does a lot of incredible straps, so let's see what we got, I had him, ask him to do me a letter to kind of um, be a provenance of his work on this knife, there's his uh, card, I would suggest you go to his Etsy site. 
They have some great stuff. They're always putting on new stuff in there. And then let's uh, let's get this knife out here. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Ah, very nice. I think he used, um, I believe he told me it was brain tanned deer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's one of the things I really liked was his sheath. I really like, feel like a knife isn't complete without a sheath, a, a fixed blade knife, of course. So when I can get the maker to do a sheath, I, I, I do. Oftentimes they don't like making sheaths, but I, oftentimes they're generous enough to do one for me. Um, uh, that's a pretty cool little detail there he's added to it. So let's see what the knife looks like. Oh yeah, that's very cool. It's almost like a uh, Skinner style. I don't know what you call it. Feels good. Like I said, I have very large hands. The, the handle's a little short, but actually for the way I would probably use it with a a pinch grip like this fits perfectly. Feels feels great. Feels the hand in the butt here. I like his finish he's put on his blade. Beautiful finish. Ah, some beautiful file work it looks like here. Oh, he put a tapered tang on his also. Wow. Do not have made many knives. I, I'm liking this. Beautiful distal taper, like I thought. He puts a lot of detail. He put a lot of detail on this one, just like his other things I've gotten from him. Just a lot of detail. So, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a. I believe this is going to be a keeper. But anyway, this is Clinton Buyer from Lenore, North Carolina. Go to his Etsy site and uh, check out his stuff. Have a great day.